that apps have surged in popularity over the years for their speed and convenience, but federal officials are reminding consumers not to treat these apps like a savings account. News 9's Adriana Daniel joins us live in studio with a warning for users. Adriana, this is uh, pretty interesting. Good morning. After this long holiday weekend, I'm sure many of you at home Venmo or PayPal to your friend for picking up the burgers or to split the price on a cabin. But leaving money in your account for long periods of time could be a risky move. As soon as you receive a payment, transfer that money into your bank account. A warning from the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau sent out in June reminding users any funds in these non-banking apps are not federally insured like a traditional bank. According to financial planner Jason Glashinsky, leaving money in these apps is not only risky, but could be costing you more money. With the interest rates where they are today, you're literally just leaving free money on the table by having money in these uh, types of applications versus in a deposit account that could be earning, you know, one, two, three, or in some cases as much as 4%. According to the CFPB, approximately 85% of consumers age 18 to 29 have used these payment apps. And transaction volume across payment apps in 2022 was nearly $9 billion and is projected to reach $1.6 trillion by 2027. Back to you.